welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And we make a weekly vlog. Where we document our search for a more meaningful life. So without further ado, let's show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. Not just any Saturday, oh no. The Saturday, two days before Christmas. Yes, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We got some jobs to do today. I'm a little bit behind again. Glenn, you just don't take advent calendar opening seriously. I'm going. I'm going to chew. Drumstick chew. No arts. And then 23rd. Penultimate window. Crackle. So we've got one tomorrow, which I've got a feeling. I think it's, it's up here. Topic. It's a big, it's it's a a big, big one. one. It's a big one. Do you think it could be a lolly? I think it's going to be a lolly. Mr. Warner, what have you purchased? I was, I was sucked in, Lisa. <laughs> Were you? Yeah. <laughs> Two festive sausage rolls that oh, are really nice. nice. Right, first stop today is the office. Chloe! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're almost done with some last minute dispatches. I'm going to walk around, put these in the post box, and then Mr. Warner is going to be on his way to fix Chloe's ceiling. Let's pop you there. Put my glasses on. More post in the post box. So this one's international. It's from Florida. Oh, some postcards too. It's from Judy and Jim from sunny central florida oh judy is showing off now judy's but hi lisa as you share postcards with me i've added a few for you i love postcards oh hubby and i watch your vlog and it's highlight of our week oh thank you judy and merry christmas to you and jim now this letter have a look at those stamps have a look at them this is from michelle and we're going to see michelle on our travels. Michelle is giving us all the top tips. She's but dear Lisa and Glenn, I'm so looking forward to meeting you both. If you're still planning to come this far north on your trip, yes we are Michelle, we are coming to see you. I got these two maps of Seattle area for you to get an idea of the city's attractions. That's really helpful, thank you. Now this, it's from the UK. Oh, Merry Christmas from us classy lot in New Haven. <laughs> oh, that's from Andy, Tash and Kyle. Thank you. Andy is often on the Sunday premiere. Hi, Lisa and Glenn. Been watching you since the first lockdown and love the vlogs. I watch every Sunday, sometimes on the pre premiere when I'm awake. If not, I watch when I get up. Oh, thank you. It's just put, just wish you could make the videos a bit longer. Love watching the videos. Sometimes I worry that they're a bit too long and that you'd all be, you'll all be going to sleep. This one is from Australia. Adelaide. And it's from Alan. Oh, Alan, thank you. My mum's going to be so happy. Card for my mum. A card for us. Oh, look at that. To Lisa and Glenn, warmest wishes for Christmas and the New Year. Love from Oz. And that's from Alan. Thank you, Alan. And I've got a feeling this is a lovely letter. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It is. It's a gorgeous letter. And I think a photo as well. I'm going to take these letters and I'm going to go around to Chloe's unit and I'm going to enjoy them with a coffee. It's the 23rd. So this ceiling we've been trying to get done all year and put plasterboards on it and it just hasn't happened. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm fitting like a dust sheet over it just so that Aaron and Chloe don't have to look at the, the, me the mess that's underneath it. So we're stapling it to the wooden battens and then we're going to leave it up anyway and put the plasterboard battens over it. But let's get it done as best we can. So this is the first one that we've put up. I mean it's quite thin but that don't matter. It's covered and it's holding all the insulation up out of the way and you can't really see it so the next thing will be to get the light we're going to put another sheet over that way. So I've finished the ceiling we're just going to put a cap back on it. It's only a, a temporary thing but 
it looks way better than it did and it just it's just nicer to look at and i'm going to try and put a light up there for chloe quickly to see if we can get it done so i've just got to chloe and aaron's glenn's packing away aaron's hoovering a hive of activity they've done a great job there I've just got back to Deb's. Glenn is heading around to Zara's. She's putting the blinds up today. I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up at Deb's. I'm going to hoover, clean the floors, just get everything ready. Deb finishes work tonight and that's it for Christmas trading. Right, I've had a tidy up. I've washed the floors. Now I'm heading to Tesco's on foot. I'm not taking a car. I can't be doing with the, the craziness. Deb needs some cream and some bread rolls and we need something for dinner tonight. That's all I'm getting, so come on, let's go. So I've just got back from Tesco's. We're just unpacking and shopping. Deb's got back from work. She's bought beautiful flowers. Let me show you. What are they, Deb? They are proteas. Proteas? Proteas. Proteas. Yeah. Lovely. Pinhead proteas. Deb's cupboard is just full yeah. of deliciousness okay yeah yeah deb did you start making a cup of tea some time ago i did and i've just got hot water <laughs> did you forget the tea bag and the milk <laughs> well that's it for today tomorrow it's christmas eve and we'll see you then good morning and welcome to sunday christmas eve well it's a very leisurely start to the day here we're just about to have some croissants and some coffee and it's just a very chilled vibe that's the theme of the morning debbie's coffee machine stopped working but also her spare coffee machine because deb's got spares of everything also isn't working well, we've got one at work we might as well use that we've just realized time is tight this morning we are out for dinner at 1 30 which means we've got to leave at one which means that we've got to get back to get ready for said dinner so come on let's go spare coffee machine coffee machine picked up right we've picked up the last few bits we're now going to chloe's dropping some bits off at chloe's then we'll be back should just have enough time to get ready to go out for lunch why do we do this to ourselves the potato peeling job has done i feel bad that i'm not staying to help but as i said we're on a tight deadline it's okay it's okay i, I know i would have helped what you got cooking in here chloe uh, Raised red cabbage. Oh, nice. It's very productive in here. Well well done, Aaron. Keep going. <laughs> I'm going to look forward to those crackers. Yeah. I love Hotel Chocolat. Co, it was a very quick visit. We've no, got to go you. now. We've got to go. <laughs> so we're here tomorrow for Christmas dinner. Chloe is catering for eight, eight, eight people. I heard the Vigor 9 being battered about. No, eight. Definitely eight. Oh, there's nine. It's okay. <laughs> lovely, oh, lovely. We are almost on our way back. Glenn's just nipped into Tesco's, which is there, because Deb needed a tub of sweets and some strawberry sauce for a dessert. So Glenn's just done that. And then regardless of whether they've got that or not, we haven't got time to go to another shop. So if not, then we'll just have to do with what we've got. Uh, all they had was the treat strawberry stuff. Glenn's come back empty handed. So, anyway, we're heading back to Deb's now. There's some crazy queuing. We're right near Sainsbury's. It always gets busy there. Now, let's hope one this one does the job. <laughs> right, we are ready and we're heading out the door. Come on, let's go. So we've just had a lovely meal with Sarah, Joan, Jan, Big Mark, Little Mark, Glenn obviously and Debbie. That was just lovely. So heading back to Deb's now. That was such a lovely meal. It really was. Anyway, we've dropped Deb off. I am now heading to my mum's. I'm going to go and see my mum so she's not on her own for the whole day today. And Glenn is going down to his mum's. He doesn't really need to, to be honest. When the estate agent showed someone around the other day, they turned off some lights that Glenn leaves on. I think Glenn just wants the drive and wants 
to go down there. I'm heading over to see my mum. Come on, let's go. I love the sound of music. Up, um, we got married and we saw it in uh, Eastbourne. Did you? Yeah. I do like the sound of music. Well, that's what you call a Christmas movie. That's one of the best. I will see you in the morning. morning. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So I was on my way home. Yeah. And when Naomi rang me, oh, can I have the code for the, she couldn't get in because she didn't have the fob. Okay. So she had to drive around the back. Five minutes later, oh, so this lock, she snapped the key in the lock. So I went over to try and see if I could get the key out, but it's pushed too far in. So the nightmare is, <coughs> In the unit is three Christmas presents that Naomi was hiding there, so the kids didn't see. So anyway, we'll sort that out tomorrow. Deb is doing a delicious cheese board here. We're cracking open the Christmas cheese. So not only have we got deliciousness here, Bake Off's about to start. Not just any Bake Off, but Christmas Bake Off. From a very strong... Just about to go to bed and I wanted to tell you what I'd got Glenn for Christmas. I'm really excited about it. Well Glenn's been saying for a while how much he misses motocross and riding a motorbike off-road. He said recently I just wish I could have like a waz round the track so I brought him a voucher for a day motocross. I think he's gonna really love it. Anyway, that is it from us today, and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to you. We're all in our PJs, but we're going to open some presents. We just worked out that this whole pile is for Glenn. Thanks, Deb. We can all enjoy this one. Look, you can always tell Deb's presents versus ours. <laughs> Debs um, versus, that, even though you tried your best with your wrapping, it is not a patch on. This is a joint effort, Deb, this one. So it's a necklace oh, look at that. and it's made with one of your dad's shirts. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's not good. Yeah, we, we both made that. Oh, I'm so happy with this book. This is going to help us, Mr. Warner, next year, this book. Is it? Yeah. Death diary. It's going to help us be organised. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a diary. Yeah. And, we, like uh, and we've got stuff to put in that for next year already. Happy Christmas, Thank Mr. You. Warner. Experience day. A whole day. On a motocross bike. Yeah. Oh, Glenn, Glenn's got an envelope. This is from Joan and Jan, who we saw yesterday. Entry for two adults to Silverstone's museum. Oh, that's, that's lovely, nice. isn't it? How lovely is that? That's really nice. Mobile. Oh, look at that. Thank you, Joan and Jan. That is wonderful. Is Let's have a look. This is from Carolyn and Charlie. How beautiful that is. That is wonderful. So I had this lovely gift from you stay at work and I forgot to take a picture of it before I unwrapped it. It was lovely. It was wrapped in this uh, fabric and it had this, this bell. It's beautiful. And inside, look, some chocolates and some wine. That is so lovely. Thank you, you stay. That is wonderful. A present from my friend Kaz and Dawn. I was just saying as I was opening them, I hope these are Ferrero Rocher, and they are. Thank you, Kaz. I love these light-up houses. I'm so chuffed that I've got one of these. This is a hot chocolate light-up house. Thanks, Dawn. I am heading over to my mum's now to pick my mum up. I'm going to come back here, gather everybody in presents, and then head to Chloe's. How lucky am I this morning? Usually it's quite tricky to park near mum's. Managed to get a spot right outside the front door. Happy Christmas! What have we got going on here, Mum? Chloe's uh, presents. Yeah. Best presents. Yeah. Your presents. Yeah. And a bag of stuff. Got all the presents in. Right. Got Mum. Got presents. 
we're heading to Debbie's now and then we need to pick up some more presents pick up Debbie and Glenn and then over to Chloe's oh. hello gorgeous girl <laughs> well she's looking good yes you are oh look at that <laughs> I love that the car is packed we are ready let's go to Chloe's here's one Deb prepared earlier looking Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> Looks lovely, Deb. Lovely. Let's go. I just want to say thank you to Judy and James Rutherford who sent us lots of helpful America tips this morning. Yeah, lots of good things to know. Thank you for that. Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas, Aaron. That's beautiful, isn't it, Chloe? It is. Chloe's ran 10 kilometres um, this morning. New PB. Oh. oh yeah. Does You're PB right, stand right. for personal best? Or peanut, peanut butter. butter. <laughs> I wish. Who wants a mimosa? It's yeah. orange juice and prosecco. Oh, yeah, oh yes. Yes, yes. Cheers. <laughs> it's smelling amazing in there. It's chaos now. Our <laughs> mum dad's just turned up. <laughs> Turned up. The people can't even get through the door. Um, happy Christmas, Bethy. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, Leo. Happy Christmas, John. So, Mum has made Anne Marie a cake. That'll be full of booze. That will. It'll be ju just yeah, exactly what you need. Leo, Leo, what you got there? A portable mini printer. A portable mini printer. You got us all in? Yeah. Okay, okay. And then what happens? Oh, uh, print again. Yeah. It and then what happens? It's, it's printing it. It's printing it oh, as we that. speak. I know. It's printing it. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, look at that. We that really picture as well. That is so cool. <laughs> Fabulous. I like it, Leo. We just lay in the table <laughs> by a human chain. <laughs> Chloe, that's looking magnificent. I just taste it. What are you doing there, Chloe? Glazing my ham. That's gonna be delish. Is this for me, my darling? Yes. Thank you. Look at this. It's a seal wax set for when you write letters. Oh, so, Bethy. These, these ones. Oh, Bethy, that so is cool, so cool. That is such a cool gift. Thank you, Bethy. Oh. And I've got this book, which has been on my list and I'm very excited about. So I've got a box for mum. And it's full of presents. Right. Presents all done. You can fit four people on the bench, perfect. If not, I'll go four get people on the bench, four people on the bench. Can I come sit next to you, Leo? I'll get round. Oh, look at this. This looks amazing. It's looking very lovely. Go on, go on. Whoa! <laughs> we've got cabbage coming round, we've got yeah, stuffing coming round. Chloe has done a feast, and you, Aaron, of course. It looks mighty fine. So, after dinner, Chloe's delicious dinner, we are now playing Rummy Cub, which is what I got for Christmas, and I love this game. Good morning, and welcome to Boxing Day. It is Monday, or is it Tuesday? I don't know, but it's Boxing Day, that is for sure. Big family gathering at Deb's today so looking forward to that but first we need to go and break in to our own office because as I mentioned on Christmas Eve Naomi broke the key off in the lock and there's still presents in there that we need to get to so here we go can Glenn get in so this is the offending lock the key is broken off in there so it's a, a safety pin from your mum's. Which I'm going to adapt. We are in. So great news, we're in. Glenn is now sitting down trying to fix the lock. Well, that was successful. Glenn, Glenn broke in. He repaired the lock, got the key out. Naomi's come to pick up the presents that were locked in there. Glenn's got a new key sorted and now we're heading to pick my mum up. Then we'll be back to Debbie's and that's where we're staying because everybody is coming round today. So we're back at Deb's. Just put the ham in just with a glaze of honey and sugar. Mm -hmm. It's good. It smells so good. Happy Christmas. 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 Happy Christmas
Happy Christmas, darling. Hello, my darling. <laughs> you got an audience? I have. Mm, that, did you oh, Hello. You have to good, did you know if it's any good. So we're about to do presents. There's a lot of very excited children. And the thing is, is because there's so many of us, it's going to look like chaos. What is going to unfold is going to look like chaos. Can I nick your seat if you do presents? Okay, yeah. yeah, thanks. Don't oh, I won't, I won't. Happy, be careful now, Kathy. Uh, Kathy, what about bin bag? Bin bag, Pappy, bin bag. Yes, Evie. 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 What's Evie? Thank you. It looks like a roll of wrapping paper. <laughs> uh, pass. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's in that bag, Nanny? All of us. Oh, all <laughs> of us. We say? got them in the end. Oh, oh there you are. <laughs> she was so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> what, oh, thank you. Great <laughs> pool. <laughs> what have you oh, got? I can't miss that. Oh. I've always wanted this. You've oh. always wanted that. Oh, oh, oh thank you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> 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 it's Chloe! That's present opening chaos done. What's it taste like? Sour apple. Sour apple? Oh. <laughs> hello, hello my darling, how are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, lucky dip, lucky dip, that's the way to do it. Come on in, come on in. We've got more lovely people. Joan and Jan, Paul's mum and dad and Paul's brother uh, have come as well. <laughs> Deb's getting all the goodness out there. Look at that. We've all had something to eat. It's been lovely. Harry's thought of a great game to play. Sleeping Lions. Sleeping Lions. And look, they're so good. They're not even moving. So Mia's going home now, aren't you, my darling? Have you had a good day? Yeah, have With my little have a present. Bye, Bye all of Right, Lex is going now. Layla's going now. So everybody has gone and we are just tidying up the kitchen. Deb's <laughs> I've got a video of this. Deb, oh nicely done, Deb. Nicely done. Pass that over, I'll wash it up. <laughs> well you would never know what has happened here today. Look, we're almost all tidied up, almost all sorted. Deb me and mum are about to sit on this sofa with a nice glass of mulled wine. <laughs> Cheers Deb. Cheers. Cheers. Good morning. We're not sure what day it is. Deb thinks it's a Tuesday. I've got a feeling it's a Wednesday. Glenn, what day is it? 20, 27. It, 20, <laughs> we don't even know what day it is. <laughs> it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. So Deb's been up early this morning, she's been to the shop, she's done delivery and now we're going to have some delicious breakfast. There we go, that looks delish. We're going to go and pick up our dollars, we ordered them last week and I'm picking up my glasses too. Just a quick coffee. So I've got my glasses, let me show you. That's my new glasses, what do we think? Very sophisticated. That's 
me, Glenn. Sophisticated. Um, anyway, Mr. Warner, did you pick up the holiday money? Got it. Got it. We got our spenders. I can see you so clearly. I can see you so clearly. It makes me realise how bad my other glasses were. The weather outside is frightful. It's horrible. It's pouring with rain. It's grey and it's miserable. We have had a very leisurely afternoon, but it's Wednesday night. And we know what that means. It's bingo. Sarah's coming. Joan and Jan's coming. Come on, let's go, win big. So we're here at Bingo. We've got Joan, we've got Jan. It's their first time here. They're Bingo novices. Are you feeling lucky? I'm feeling lucky today. Yeah, we're gonna win today. We're gonna win big. Our table, someone is gonna win. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Well, what can I tell you? I'm, I'm in the company of winners. Winner. Winners, winners, and Mr. Winner. Warner. Winner. Winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Good morning and welcome to Friday. You may be wondering, where's Thursday gone? I didn't do any filming yesterday. I took my battery out of my camera to put it on charge and then forgot it. But you did not miss much. Oh no, you didn't. It was a boring day with tidying up. Yeah, no one loves that. Anyway, today is not much more exciting, to be honest. I'm dropping Glenn off at the office. He's got some work to do there, and then I'm gonna go and see my mum. This is the last time I'll be seeing my mum before we go away. Okie doke. So, I've dropped Glenn off at the office. I've had a chat with Chloe. I'm now heading over to see my mum. I've had a cup of tea with mum. I'm just about to leave. Look at the state of my hair. I washed it this morning and uh, didn't dry it and it's not looking so great. Now mum, that is what you call a boxer party ring. So I'm back at Deb's now and I was thinking of something exciting to do, but I've got a whole load of letters that I wanna get back to before we go away. So I'm gonna sit down and do that. I know it's not the most exciting thing for you, but as Glenn's just reminded me, we've got plenty of excitement coming up in the next couple of weeks. So I'm gonna sit down, make a cup of tea, answer some letters. I forgot to mention yesterday, while we were at the office, I picked up three cards and I saved them. So this first card actually went to my mum's address. This is from my cousin, Alison. Lisa and Glenn love Alison, Kevin, James and Sophie. And there's another card in there for my cousin Matt. So thank you. Thank you all for your Christmas cards. Got a letter here from the UK. Super neat handwriting. I think this is for Marion. And it is. That is excellent. I'll read that in a second. And I'm going to drop Marion a reply before we go. And this card is from the UK. And it's beautiful. Just look at that. Dear Lisa, thought you would appreciate this unique Christmas card as I stuck it on sideways. It doesn't matter. And this is from Ali. Ali is so talented. She makes beautiful cards. Thank you, Ali. Oh, thank you so much, Ali. That is lovely. I'm just going through all the letters and guess what? I found a Christmas card that hadn't been opened from Lara and Sean. Fireworks, Sean, who Glenn did the fireworks with. Thanks, Lara. Lovely to hear from you. Oh, thanks, Deb. Can I have that one? Yep. Thank you. Deb's been to the shop. She's brought us a scratchy. I am now going to make some dinner using the, some of the leftovers in the fridge. So. Let's get cracking. We got some deliciousness going on right here. Potato cheesy topping. There we have it. Christmas week. And it was all right, wasn't it? It was all right, yeah. It was all right. A bit different, but it was all right. There were moments of real joy and laughter amongst all the other stuff. We are recording this currently on Saturday morning. Tomorrow, we leave for the airport where we're staying overnight and then our flight on Monday, on New Year's Day. So we're so excited to share it all with you. I mean, we're just excited generally. Even Mr. Warner, who doesn't do excitement. A little bit, you, a little bit. You're excited, aren't you? Yeah. 
he is excited. That is his genuine excited face. <laughs> we wish you all the best for 2024. Hope you have a fabulous time. And next time I do this intro and outro, we're going to be in America. We're going to be in America. <laughs> Take care. Have a great time. And we'll see you next week. Cheers. Bye.